Hello, MacWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Guys, today we will actually build our Timber Wolf. I was checking last time I tried to build it. It just didn't confirm. It just did not confirm my confirmation of rebuilding. But today, I think it is time. And you know what? We have an Annihilator here that we can also kind of make use of. But um, let's talk about that later, Potato. We got the Warhawk stripped down. It's pretty good. And I would say... Oh, wait, do we have... Oh, we have a fortress here again, right? There is a... I mean, stop the launch is great. We're gonna accept that. Request medical treatment. Request reinforcements. I don't really care about that. I want to play the... Exploration Fortress is sold. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing first. Before we get the other guys in. Um, and yeah, that means we're gonna repair our battle mechs that need repair. Like our Ryan, like the Thunderbolt and the good old, come on, cue it up, the Black Knight. Man, I really want to get that Annie on the battlefield. The thing is, we might want to do it already. It is an okay build. The problem is that this thing just does not have any ammo. Uh, damn, it's not great enough. It's not good enough. We have the LBX Auto Cannon Enhancement, which I'm very keen on playing with. It's going to be really cool. Especially the LBX beam duration modifier of 25%, which is probably a little bug. But anyways, uh, it's pretty cool. So, um, Annie is gonna stay where it is right now. It will be a good mech at some point, but not at the moment. I feel it's unoptimized and we are going in. We're gonna take some salvage and try to get this done. It's a quite funky biome that we are playing on. And you know what? I believe our crew is just ready as ready can be. We have a good chunk of long range here in form of our LRMs from our Orion. We have the Thunderbolt with the LRMs as well. We got some laser beams on the Black Knight as well as the Grasshopper. Got a good chunk of AMS to protect us. We have one ECM that is helping us out, not getting hit that often. And I'd say we're gonna just crush these enemies. You know, see them driven before us and hear the limitation of the mech techs. <laughs> it's gonna be great. So my goal, uh, by the way, to give you a little bit of a heads up what's about to come. My goal was to put some LBXs into the Timberwolf to make it combat ready and have a good time with it on the battlefield with shooting ballistics as well as a good chunk of medium lasers. However, now we got an Annihilator which actually has dedicated quirks towards those LBX autocannons. So I'm not entirely sure if we should take these high tier LBXs and put them just into the Annihilator and make that thing good. Problem is, it'll probably take a lot of money to build any. And we want we want an XL engine on the guy, and ideally a clan XL engine. So we need to find some in order to optimize it. Alright, here we go. Oh, base is open. It's lying on a hill. It's kind of interesting. We need to find the, um, the the data max at some point, like before we go to the base. Right? No. No data max here. Uh, uh, where are the dropships? There are some uh, flyers. There's the dropship. Good to know. There's another dropship right in front of us, so we're gonna hold here. Gotta deal with them first. Or anything else. Zap. Let's, Let's go. Get the Igor out. It's an AC20 Igor, so Target he's destroyed. not in range. And we can take him down relatively Target quickly. Uh, use that. Come on, laser beams. There we go. So, what is the biggest die? It's a Warhawk. Get him down. This thing crashed on me. That's not okay. So, we're gonna try to take the Warhawk down as our first target because that thing has massive pinpoint damage, which will hurt us big time if we don't deal with him right away. Alright, so now on towards whatever that is. It's a Vulture. So cool, man. All of the clan mechs. Maybe, maybe this is where we're gonna get our goodies. There's another vulture. Take him down quickly. Oh god. I don't think are shooting my lasers right now. Ah, they have a Hellbringer as well. Ugh, too much. Did we get the kill anyway? Yeah, we did. We did get it. No, we didn't. Now we got it. Um, what's the assault mech? It's a stalker. I don't care. Let's go for Hellbringer. Oh, this escalates so quickly. Back shot. Huh? He's a stalker now. It's our next target. Stalker close range is bad for us because he's shooting his SRMs now. Actually, he's only LRM. Wait. 
My Thunderbolt is eating all the damage. Hello? Uh oh. Uh oh. Honor, Commander. Okay. I'm gonna say hold fire for my Thunderbolt so he's not getting wrecked. Alright, we got that guy. There's a crab! Oh no! Uh, Marauder as well. I see the silhouette of um, whatever that is. I don't know. Okay, go all in, guys. God, I hate, I, I hate this, but I love it at the same time. It's so cool, man. These missions set us under so much pressure. Another assault mic. It's an annihilator. Um, uh, Thunderbolt, stop firing. Uh, Weapons cold. Okay, weapons cold. Get Annie down. Oh, we didn't. Now he's down. Uh, what do we have here? A dervish? I think the Marauder is the bigger target. Oh my god, and we didn't even fire at the base yet. Oh, the Ravager 2 is out in range. <gasps> Probably that's why we got we got hit so hard. Okay, mechs first though. They're easier to kill. Um, uh, we got the range. I need to cool though. All right, let's go in, attack the turret. We have to take this, and quickly. Targeted mech is toast. All right, you guys defend yourselves. I hope you are good. Stay in motion. Okay, so we got that. Lots of light mechs here. Locust down. Oh, we have a locust swarm. Oh no. Oh no. Eat that locust. All right. Yeah, we gotta defend ourselves so hard against so many enemies. Is that enough? It's not. Gods! What's going on? I mean, these are LRM locos, so not the biggest of deal. Take it. Maybe I shouldn't alpha strike so much, by the way. It's a tank. Carrier. I mean, we got AMS. Yeah, the missiles are not coming. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so guys, hold fire for a second. Hold fire. Aiming at dirt. That's a cool statement. Um, SRM carrier. Mm -hmm. Let me handle this with the missiles. All right. All right, all right, all right. Good UAV, by the way. That really helped us out. Gave us a lot of intel. Now we need to sneak upon the base and see what we can do there. There's still one locust around somewhere on the sidelines, but... Recon what? has spotted additional bogies. Additional bogies. Uh-huh. Where are the Ravager turrets? Seems to be a small base, though. Oh, yeah, it is. Alright, there's one. It's a large laser turret. Here comes the Locust. So, this thing is easily... destroyable. Engaging shared target ID. Get the Locust. Alright, we got the Locust. Um, everybody hold fire again. Because... Oh, the laser turret is not down. Yeah. I want to tank this. Okay. So, we got another tank. A Rommel! With an AC. Randy! Take it down, take it down, take it down. There we go. Okay, another large laser turret. Not the biggest of the years. That's a Ravager. Um. Yeah. All in, guys. All in. Stay in motion. Attack. And there's one turret behind me as well. Which I probably also want to take down. Ugh. It hurts so much. All right, turning around. It's also Ravager. Oh, God. Guys. Guys. Ammo low. It's a thing I don't want to hear right now. All right, we got that guy. Perfect. Now. Huddle up. Huddle up. Um, sure, have fun with the javelin. I think the Thunderbolt is still all right. We can send him in. Black Knight is now getting it. Oh, we got Target more info on turrets. An SRM turret. And they are down. All right, come over here, guys. The turret is here. It's an LRM turret. Mm. Yeah, I'll take it down, guys. It's fine. I'm gonna stay here. Again, we have lots of AMS. Capturing like a boss. I can only use my arm mounts here. Now it's better. I mean, we're under running his minimum distance. So let's take this. Uh huh. While capturing. Uh, and we got it. Perfect. Target acquired. 91%. We're almost done. I would say. Pretty good. Pretty good. It escalated like a boss, Welcome but back, we had Commander. counter escalation Stand strategies. Uh, 
Come on, stay here, guys. Yeah, let's get out of here. Ooh, good first mission. And a high tier one on top of that. I do wonder what we are going to get out of that. I think we're gonna be swimming in money. Last time we got 8 million sea bills. And again, it's what we need to get that um, annihilator on the battlefield. So, 84 picks. There's a Warhawk, but what I need more is just stuff that I can build an XL engine around. Or something that is around, build around an XL engine. So, we're gonna take Hellbringer. And I think. Hmm. Only got four Vulture parts, and they are very intense uh, in terms of cost. It's a Clan 20 LRM. Got some ERPPCs that we could upgrade, technically. Uh, more Annihilator parts. No, thank you. I don't need them. Classic Marauder. I mean, that's pretty cool. More Clan LRMs. I mean, these are technically better than the NSV LRMs that we are running right now, correct? Correct? I don't know. Got some Mad Dog Prime parts. Wait, this is a Mad Dog Mark II, right? Uh, yeah, so it's different. It's a different version of it. Those will probably not work together. A Clan Active Probe is fantastic. So good. It's really giving us a, a massive sense of range bonus. I'm gonna take that. Um, Dervish, Large Pulse Clan. Clan ECM. Oh my god. Love to see it. Um, Javelin Locust. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to all of these Locust parts, obviously. Streak ammo? Nah, no. Clan LRM ammo? Yes! <laughs> I will actually pick that. A Clan Double Heat Sink? Yes! Another one? More LRM ammo? Mm. Are we fine on Heat Sinks? We got like 12 now? If we pick it like this? I think I shouldn't pick Heat Sinks. So we got one Hellbringer part. I think we're gonna pick three parts of a Warhawk. Again. Because that thing is worth a lot for only 11 picks. This would allow me to get more LRM20s if I get them. Hmm, that's interesting. Also, Engine Core 300. This is a 340, which is good for the Annihilator, technically. I want this guy to be a bit faster than like 48 kph. Um, mm -mm. Actually, 32. Oh, <laughs> alright. Yeah, and I will pick those LRMs. I'm not really keen on getting the targeting computer. It's not really helping that much. Um, so LRM20s, but there was a better one, right? Yeah, here. Give me that. All right, three more picks. What do we go for? A regular PPC? Nah. Yeah, medium. It's sadly four picks. No locos, thank you. Um, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. The double heat sinks are five picks. Um. Hmm. Weird. All right, so there's nothing here that really matters to me, so I'm gonna pick something that's just worth a bit, like the PPC. We can sell it or upgrade it or whatever. All right, guys. Ooh, incapacitated. Yeah, we got shaken in our cockpit, like big time, and we got a negative quirk. Okay, but we get nine million sea bills. We get a Black Knight six B. A Star League Relic. And it has a... Oh, it says Black, Black Knight Shield Arm. It doesn't actually have a shield. By the way, MacWarrior Online. The Red Reaper coming out soon. <laughs> Gonna be amazing. So, what do we have here? We got a Charger 1P5. Uh, with a Melee Battle Axe. Alright, Auto Cannon 20. Two of them Tier 5. We got a ER Large Laser Tier 5. Two Medium Pulse Tier 5. And six Double Heat Sings. I am a happy boy. Okay. Okay. That means... Um, we're gonna try to find an industrial hub. Oh god, which one? I don't wanna, I don't wanna pay the deviants. I want to, I wanna go home. Is it worth it? 63 days, which is basically three and a half million. We gotta factor that in. I don't think it's worth it going back home. And this is all like deviant space here. Uh, crap. The deviants hate us. Oh, we could go up there, but it's the same. Well, man, I guess we gotta bite the bullet. There's an aerospace capture contract as well. Yeah, it's fine. So, there will be a markup on our repair, but it will be fine because we won't uh, waste so much time in space and we don't have to pay for our upkeep. 
There is a cheesy way to do it by just putting everything back to cold storage because um, in this mod, the mechs will stay with their bills, so they won't be stripped automatically. But it would be very cheesy and I don't really want to do that. All right, so the thing that we want to do is sell the Warhawk for a massive amount of money. Yes. It's a thing that I don't want to run right now. Then, oh boy, we have all the options in the world. First of all, build Hellbringer. Assemble mech. Get XL engine. Ah, it's broken. It is uh, completely broken, but we can take a heatsink kit with us if we want that. We have three of them lying around. Ooh, I like the PPCs here. That's good. I also think that the medium lasers will be good. Everything else is uh, garbage. Take the heatsink kit. It's not a lot of time. And technically, we have a targeting computer, Mark III. All right, let's take the targeting computer as well. So it's 21 days and a million sea bills. Workable. Absolutely workable. So everything else, please just be repaired, question mark? No. I want to take a look at my missile options here. So we have a tier 5 LRM-10, which is... Uh, wait, let's compare the 20s, actually. This is 11.111 damage per second that we throw out there. Uh, whoa, we have a tier 5 LRM-20 clan. Really? So that's only 8 damage per second. Interesting. I mean, yes, it's a clan weapon, which means it's lighter. So we save 5 tons, which means we could uh, upgrade this LRM-10 to another 20. Right here. Our alpha strike damage is going up a little, but our damage per second is going down. I am not a fan of that, to be honest. Right, there's another 20 here. Alright. So, again, alpha goes up, damage per second goes down, because they have a lower rate of fire. I know, like, pretend this is LRM-20, or like LRM clan ammo. I don't know if we have, we have only three bins, so it wouldn't even make so much sense to put these in the mech. But anyway, let's, let's pretend. Let's pretend we had the ammo. This guy is also made for large lasers. So, large laser heat generation modifier, 25%. That's great. 25% more damage, and 25% more range, and 25% more beam duration. So, they have a longer burn duration to deal their full damage. It's a negative, but anyways. Um, I think since these guys have already a range bonus, we're gonna not go ER, but regular large. Ah! Ah! Ah, we cannot put the large laser into the side also. Hmm. But still, even then, um, the rest of the mech needs to be cooling so that we can run it. Is this worth it? I doubt it, honestly. So, even if we put some, uh, uh, let's say, royal heat sinks in here, and another double, maybe... Cooling is, cooling is going up to, a, to an alright number. I would say that's fine. Uh, 5.3 against about 4. We will not be firing all the time, so yes, we are not heat neutral, but we can use our heat threshold um, to jiggle, uh, jiggle, juggle the heat. It's fine. Um, but again, the DPS is going significantly lower, and that's the thing I don't like. So we're gonna leave it as it is. Good. Now that we checked that, I am pretty happy about that fact. Our Thunderbolt is actually running some of these LRMs. Mm, period. That's just it. Mm. Hold up. One thing I want to add is actually the active probe that we just gotten. Uh, and we are running Guardian ECM. The Clan ECM is probably better, right? So the most important thing for me here is the Hostile Accuracy modifier. That's a 20% uh, negative on that. It also has a negative 20. So it's all 20... It's the same. It's basically the same. But Clan ECM is a half ton lighter, so I'll take that, obviously. Yes. And the Clan Active Probe is a ton as well, correct? It is. This is perfect for the mech because we have the 360 degree, no uh, like visual field of view for our sensors. And... It has a 565 meters radius, which is amazing. So we see everything around us in relatively medium range. 
That's really good. And also gives us a base sensor range bonus. Um, so we need half a ton. How do we get half a ton? Good drop armor. I should drop armor. Let's get some leg armor down. That's alright. Is it though? Hold up. Hold up. I think leg armor would be the only thing that I would be comfortable with. I mean, the 300 rated core is, is nice. It actually is. 64 kph is what I want to run. So the 275 would be possible. It drops a lot of mobility, though. Let's not go down that route. Okay, so what happened? Something happened. Revert. Get that. Repair. All. And then get our electronics in there. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, half a ton. Um, yeah, about 40-something on the legs. It's going really low. Uh-uh-uh. It's 45-ish. Now we're at 44. Uh, I mean, we have that armor bonus. That's kind of padding our, our legs a bit more. <laughs> Is it good enough? I don't know. Should I take my ammo and put it in a side torso or anything? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that. I think that's it, though. This mech is more offensive now. Another thing I was considering was dropping the lasers altogether. They are really good point defense weapons. But maybe that's, maybe that's the thing, you know? What about... What about no laser, more ammo, just use the missiles, end of story. You know? That's fine. It's totally fine. That allows us to up armor the legs. Get that max armor going. Thank you. Okay, so we go down the other route now. It's better. It's better. We have so much DPS here. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Drop the heatsink. Yeah. And get. Got high explosive ammo. How does that work? How does that interact? I mean, I want it. Absolutely. Um, is there an ammo swap in for LRMs? Because last time I tried, it wasn't. How much damage would we actually deal? Would we now deal, like, all the damage? Now that we have one of the high explosive rounds? It says that we deal so much more alpha strike damage and so much more DPS because of that. But uh, what if it is empty? Like, overrides... Does it override all of our ammo now? Like, uh, how does it work? Magnets! I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did I click repair? I, I don't think so. Um, but that's fine. Okay, so guys, I wanna I wanna keep going. This is We are taking too much time repairing and rebuilding here. I wanna go back to the Timberwolf, and I need to make a decision now. Do I concentrate on the Annihilator? I mean, a little bit, yeah? A little bit. Mm. But we need a bigger core, and we need a bigger... Um, uh, a bigger engine, like XL upgrade or so. What I can start on doing is already dropping all of these. Ammo in the legs, obviously. There we go, single heat sinks can go. Now, got a lot of tonnage. Also, we are not up armored completely. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's a big problem. So, 300 rated engine is minimum, like 48 kph plus. Is where I want to be. Uh, we need that double heat sink kit. I think it's going to be a clan one. There we go. We have 12 clan double heat sinks, so we might want to use them. And you know what? We don't even need more of them. I could do this for the moment. It's very expensive to do it, though. <laughs> so let's not. Let's not. Um, and yes, we need more ammo. If we ever want to run this guy. It's just not working. Even if I wanted to build this in some kind of way. Two tons of regular LBX ammo. You know what? I'm going to strip this. I'm going to take all of this out. Do I? I mean, we have high tier uh, inner sphere LBXs on the Tim B. But you know what? We're going to take the clan ones. It's fine. So we're going to put these high-tier LBXs 
Yeah, it's fine. Um, bu -bu -bu -bu. where are they? Where are they? There's one. I thought I had another one. Weird. I really thought I had another one. Maybe I don't. But that's okay. So, there's one here. Um, that means Timby is gonna take clan ones. That means we're gonna put the regular LBX ammo in this guy. Sure. Click that max armor button. And we are almost good. Almost. Yeah, man, XL engine or bust. Th that's the thing that we need. Okay. But it is a start of a work that I can already um, order up. And yes, it actually worked. Good to see. Ah! They are still in the Timberwolf. That's why. Yeah, these want to go into the Annihilator. Absolutely. Um, however, I have these... Brr, 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 clan ones. Which are a little lighter. Really good. And... Hold up. I have these chain guns. Do I want to put them on any? Range is not great. And they're also very light. So I might want to put them on something else. And I... Honestly, I want to use all four of them in combination. I could also put them on Mr. Timby Wimby here. Pretty good DPS. Very light weapons. But I'll do it like that. So... Let's get all the six tons, or actually five tons in the mech, that's what we already stated here. There's the ballistic fire control system, and we have two of them, so yes, I'll put one in here. Um, and then we are basically maxed out. I could drop a little bit of leg armor to get half a ton, but what would I put in the mech? One AMS with a ton of ammo? I said I want AMS on every mech. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, you know, that might be good. Get some, get some missile defense. Why not? Or anti-missile defense. So where do we have to go? Is it 56? It is in fact 56. So this ton is gonna be um, an AMS ton. Ah, it's only two bins for each gun, which is probably not enough. But you know what? We're gonna figure this out. There's also a good chance that we don't need that much cooling. Since we won't be firing the lasers all the time, and this is our big um, heat eater. But yeah, I like it. Okay, let's start the work on Timby, and this time for real, question mark. It started the work. <laughs> Alright. So, other than that, I don't really want to build anything right now. Do I put it in cold storage and sell it in a better, in a better opportunity? Right now we don't need the money, so I'd say yeah. Go to sleep, my friend. Pirate Spain. Lost a small laser, actually. We, we should take a look at that so that it's combat ready when we need it. Um, and we I think we didn't even build this guy in an optimal way ever, right? We, we have better small lasers, is what I want to say. Yes, we do. And better machine guns, I'm pretty sure. Actually, that's a tier 5. There we go. Look at that. The damage per second skyrocketing here. So, machine gun. There are two clan machine guns. Eh, whatever. They are a little lighter. Little lighter. Hey, man, that's three. Three extra DPS. It's pretty good. Only half a ton of machine. Actually, one and a half ton. That's okay. Um, the amount of double heatsink is needed. So, yeah. Is there anything else we need to change? I would say nope. Fire control system. Ballistic spread. Ah, it's fine. Okay. So, we made our locust better. Way better. Could you run chain guns? Like, one chain gun. Only. But you got the small laser bonuses and the machine gun bonuses. What we want is a Gatling on this guy, I guess. <laughs> but hey, here we go. That is what I want to change for now. I know we have an atlas here. Um, should we... Should we start building? I don't think so. 
Anything else we want to assemble? <laughs> An urban mech? No. Not at all. We have our Hellbringer build. The Annihilator is not really relevant right now. No, I think we're good. We're good to go. Okay, guys. One more thing. We'll take a look at equipment here. Because we got money right now. Let's take a look at what we can find. More chain guns. A rare large laser. Whatever. Medium mace. I don't care. Silver bullet gauss. Mm. Care a little bit. It's not a bad weapon. It's also not great. Let's let's not take it. Okay, so there's nothing here. Talking about ammo. Anything special. Grenade launcher. Double. Gauss double. Chain gun half. Gatling gun huge. Um, These Gatlings are really good. I want to have that. Also, what the hell is an artillery array? I want to have that so I'm ready to go when it's coming up. Um, Alright, so that's the ammo. Gauss double. We might want to use that. So three bins might be fine. Let's take four bins. It will be useful later on. There's a regular heat bank. There is drifter jump jets and a pirate supercharger and a pirate mask. Oh, these are volatile though. They explode relatively quickly. They're good. Hmm. Speed boost 50%. This is 180%. Turn boost, damage interval, min damage, blah blah blah, required mech level, and so on. So I think the supercharger is better, right? Than the uh, the mask. Mask is I mean, supercharger is always one ton. Correct? I buy him. I want mobility, so I wanna just take it. Okay, so improved tensors. We got some pirate countermeasures, which are not really that good. Uh, we got modular ferro. We got a primitive cockpit, some engines, and so on. Okay, guys, we are ready to go. I want to seek some trouble now. It's a multi-mission. Not bad. It's Davian, though. Oh, wait, this is, like, Marek? What's our standing with Marek? Uh... Where is my... Yeah, thank you. Um, faction standings. Marek hates us. Davian as well. We're kind of sworn enemies. Uh, don't think I'm going to go there then. Tja. Unu? Where'd you go? Davian, Davian, Davian. I mean, we should probably look for trouble on the other side of the... We can go for the aerospace capture contract. Mm, no. Not right now. Not right now. Okay, so what do we find here? I'd say... This is all... I mean, this is Kurita now. Warzone for Kurita against Devian. We can take that. It's a super high tier mission, but I'm willing to, to test my new max out. Let's go. So we got a bit more, like, raw damage coming out of our Timber Wolf compared to the relatively slow laser damage of our Grasshopper. Is Timby better than those two mechs, the Grasshopper and or the, the Black Knight? I think in terms of raw firepower... Ooh. Interesting. Resource opportunity. Um, I think it's better. But it might be squishier. There's so much going on. First, Cantina. Kill Jägermech? Mm. Kill Dragon. Mm. Kill Quick Draws. It's all five. Five is a lot. Uh, but I will accept it. I mean, why not? We can dump it at any point. So, transmission. I will just accept this now. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so we got another GTE pilot here, Kelpie, with a blackjack that we found. Good. We can accept the trader and we can accept another exploration quest. <laughs> oh my god. What I wanted to do though is... Oh, there's a duel and a battlefield. Ah. Uh, or regular duel. Oh, it's also a triple mission, never mind. So, 
Yes, we go for House Kurita. Let's. I mean, as long as it's against Davian, I'll take it. It's fine. And confirm that. Let's go. You're still bruised. So we need another pilot. Um, You, my friend, have two AMSs. You also have two AMSs. And you're a little bit more durable. Totally. Alright, the Grasshopper is gonna stay here, and instead I'm gonna take the Timber. Where's my Timber Wolf? Oh, yeah, the Shadowhawk was uh, also stripped, so we can sell it. Okay, we'll take the Timber here. Um, ballistics, yes, we need you, Mr. Mist. Uh, and Kenny needs to go, and I think we're gonna take somebody else instead. Somebody with a high tier cap. So it's either Chainsaw or it's gonna be Breacher. None of these have any missile specialties. Yet. You're better at evasion. And I think for a high tier mission, I want you. Um, one more thing. One more thing. Um, We need to get you the role of the missile boat. That's right. Okay. I think I am ready to go. Let's try this. This could be really good. Or really bad. I don't know how much damage output we actually have on our on our Tim B. And maybe it's again, it's too squishy. We might attract a lot of fire. But knowing that my Thunderbolt attracted a lot last mission, uh, even more than my hero Orion, I think these two are gonna be our <laughs> our tanks. The ones that will attract the fire all the time. So we'll check it out. I really like going into projectile weapons, though. It makes a lot of difference. Attention. Prepare for battle mech departure. You okay? Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. So, Reactive technically, online. we should have more DPS Sensitive and Alpha Strike on our Orion because of the high explosive online. pirate ammo. Again, I don't All know if there's, like, an on. ammo swap system for we LRMs, though. Into the thick of it, so let me check that. Help each other hold back the I'm gonna press the, the ammo swap button. As long as possible. But yeah, there is like. And then get the hell out of there. There is no different we firing mode. For your Good um. Want to check something real quick? Um, the four, and I guess that's the weapon group. Okay, so. I hope that my AI pilot can somehow deal with what's going on. Should we go for the lamb? I want to quickly get these out of the way. What we need is a missile fire control system and honestly maybe Artemis. For more accuracy. Alright. So, crash through the walls and kill everyone. Focus. Uh huh. It's just easier for me to clear out the light max with LRMs, but now that we are in the in the vicinity, I'm gonna do it like that. Also, quick check on the weapon groups here. I know we'll take some time on the battlefield. I could have done it in the in the mech lab, but I don't really care about that right now. Okay, I want to chain fire like here. Who needs hands? Arm weapons only. I don't know. Maybe like this is a chain fire group for the lasers. Good. So, in we go. Get over here, Mister. Lots of lasers. Uh huh. Jenner. Couldn't hit him. But that's a locust. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, the torso twist is a bit janky. Ah, it's a timber. Let me go for a better vision as well. And I think we should go for a slug shot. So here you can see, when I when I swap my weapon in the lower right, I can swap between solid and cluster. So that's a complete difference. Shall we attack them head on? I think we're gonna stay here. Gotta pull first. 
Bam. Mm, our shots don't align. Because we have different tier weapons, that means our cooldown is differently. Eh. Or it's different. Okay, let's clear it up a little. Big explosion, by the way. Shall we go for the Fract? I think so. Jammed? Or is it the lag and the shake that makes me so jittery right now? Blam. Okay, so that guy is certainly down as well. I'm gonna stay with normal vision here so we can see a bit better. But a Bulldog Tang and a Harasser. Yeah, perfect position of a UAV, by the way. This is really good. Marauder and another Cataphract. Um, Marauder is the more dangerous target for me, I would say. Sorry, I can't see that. Nothing personal, Merc, but we're just gonna kill you and take your stuff now. Yeah, no, you won't. Wait, who are you? Target acquired. You are? You are a danger? You are red. You are hostile. Target destroyed. Where do these come from? You have been betrayed. Oh, you're my employer. <laughs> That's funny. Damage. Mm -hmm. Target acquired. There we go. Yeah, All take right, that. Care of. Any light mechs coming in? Yeah, here they come. Oh, that's not a light mech, that's a summoner. I'll keep our back safe, guys. And up it goes. Okay, you're shooting missiles, my friend. But I don't really care. You can really see that my left side, now my right side also is already getting attacked. It's orange. Another Marauder. Guys, there is a Cataphract. Could you please take that down? Thank you. The other guys are not really coming, so we're gonna take our time. There's also an, like an argument for doing it the opposite way, dealing with the guys at the base first, and then oh, oh, battle master, and then dealing with the uh, guys in the outskirts because as soon as the cataphract is down, they will respawn, like they will spawn more. Stop moving around that much. Hold still. Target acquired. Okay, the battle master. Tangles mm. appear to be bringing in additional reinforcements. You hit him on the leg. Okay. Flyers, so I'm gonna switch switch Target to cluster. Acquired. Should be a little bit better to attack them. Yeah. Blah. Blah. Target acquired. Blah, blah. Okay. That going. Target this thing destroyed. is down. Here's another E4. They're actually destroyed. also attacking my employer still. Oh, Timberwolf! Bring in Timberwolf! Uh, no time to switch ammo real quick. Yeah. I want you down, thank you. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We got this. There was a dropship on the right side. Yeah. Here they are. Again, swapping ammo. And who's yell? Mm, come on. There we go. Target acquired. So, my friend, the Black Knight. Focusing on target. Yeah. Let's get the Battle Master out of the way. Also, catapult. I mean, eventually we have to kill all of them. But I do really, really want to get that guy out of the way. Predictive targeting would be fantastic, by the way. Whoop. Hey, we hit him. Time to die. Nobody in my vicinity here except for you, my friend. So ammo swapping targets. Low. Um, did Betty just say ammo low? Target destroyed. I guess it's time for the laser beams then. Okay. I mean, Uziel is XL engine. Target acquired. Yeah, attack yeah you take that guy. So we can we can just take the side also and he's gone. That's not a question, that's a statement. Come on, come out to play here. There we go, we got that guy. Perfect! Enemy forces continuing to converge on your location. The missiles are very good here. I like it. But we are down to 24 shots. That's uh a little bit of a problem, honestly. Target acquired. This is another summoner, a Cyclops. 
Banshee! New target, Banshee. Another Banshee. Tanks are still in the outskirts. Alright. Yeah, let's let's get the stride out of the way. And um, by the way, that's the last wave that we have to deal with. We have four mechs and one tank on the battlefield, and then we can go home. Time to die. It's coming around here. This All right. Thunder. One less enemy. One less enemy. Very good. Very nice. Good. So what to go for first? I think this banshee needs to go. I have a target. Okay, boys. Let's do it. My range is 540 meters optimal for my auto cannon. Well, let's do this. Mm, a little bit too high here. Only 18 shots left. Where are the missiles, friends? Come on. We have clear locks here. Take it slow. Yeah, man. Oh, we got it. Good. Um, Cyclops not a biggest threat. I would say the other Banshee it is. Alright. Team damage. My Timby is pushing. And this is where we're gonna start engaging. Oh boy. Man, the ammo count. We need to change that. I was actually um, anticipating that already. Didn't do anything about it. Come on, kill up. Alright. Uh, the Thor or the summoner one. next. Ammo depleted. depleted. That's where we're out. Okay. So laser beams it is. Just for the center torso. Yeah. Really, really hard to defend yourself when you have no guns anymore. Um, leg maybe? Why not? Um, taking a lot of damage here as a team. I'm gonna try to step in so it's a bit spread. Alright, so we are Commander. technically done. Let's go the fray, home then. The ship and we'll get you out of there. Yeah. I believe our speed is fine on the Timberwolf. I, I really like them to be a bit faster than normal. So 76 kph. I know it normally runs 81. Right on cue. Um, VTOL on approach. Mm, we need that VTOL. Yeah, Commander, man. Enemy dropship coming in right Guys, can you take the Igor down? I think this is one of our designated targets. Crap, a Victor. Uh huh. Yeah. Thunder here. In nope. trouble. Leave me. So we got the Igor down. But I want to run at this point. We're just evac. Well done, Commander. Time to collect our pay. Yeah. Yeah. Just go. Go home. There's no need to take extra damage. We are fine. It is all right. Good. So not the most salvage that we're going to get here. I think we have negotiated for 24 picks. But it should net us two of these summoner parts at the very least. Or maybe a weapon system or ammo that we want to implement into our builds that we have already. Uh, still looking for that XL engine for the Annihilator, obviously. Um, and by the way, uh, my, my list of things that I want to do is getting longer and longer. Um, not all of them have relevance anymore that I want to quickly get out there. I, I probably need to take a look at what I actually want to do. So, I mean, this is an LRM20 tier 4 thing. There is no way I'm not going to take it. Tier 4 weapons, they have priority. Yes. There's also no good combination. I could only take one of these mech parts anyway, so I don't even think about it. Let's take the goodies. An LRM 15, even better. Ah. Alright. What do we do here? I really do like the 15 for its... Um, I would say efficiency. It's very good in terms of tonnage compared to the damage output, and it also only takes two slots. But is that better than a tier 4 weapon? It's hard to tell, honestly. Maybe I drop the laser. So this is also a very good one and we can make something happen with this, especially on our energy builds like the the Black Knight, the Grasshopper. It's tough. It's really tough. Let's keep going. 
good auto cannons here. Um, no, no, no. Regular LRM 15 tier 3 is honestly something that we should consider for the Orion hero. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Large laser tier 4. Lamps thruster, sure. Improved sensor, lots of good medium lasers. Plan LRM ammo. Yes, you know, that that's it. We'll take it. So we can run more of these. There's a clan machine gun tier 4 as well. I'm really good for the locust, obviously. But hey, that's gonna be my pick. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I would say that it is the end of the episode today. We have a timber wolf on the battlefield. It needs a little bit of love, I know. But it is there, and I'm very eager to see how it is going to perform. I hope you enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, hey, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.